I want to make a template for my DVD sleeve. So the first thing I need to find out is I need to find out how big a normal DVD case is. And according to this, it's 273 millimeters by 183 in total, with the front being 129 by 183 and the spine being 14 millimeters by 183. At first, I'm going to start by doing this in a program called 2D Design which is very good for producing line drawings. Um, I'm going to load a setup to make this easy for myself. So load setup and I'll normally find these on work files. So I've got to work files and in computing and IT and there's A4 in centimeters. And that comes up in portrait, which isn't really what I want. So I'm going to go to setup drawing, layout, and I'm going to change that to landscape. So I've now got a piece of landscape A4 in front of me on the page. And I'm going to use the tools up here to put the whole thing in. So I click on the square, I click somewhere down the bottom corner, and then I go up here and I put my figures in. Now the width is 273 millimeters which is 27.3 centimeters and the height is 183 millimeters or 18.3 centimeters okay. that's okay um, I might drag that back down one centimeter so it's more down in that corner that looks a little bit better so that's the right size so what I need to do next of course is put in where the spines going to be now the spine is 129 so I could just draw another square if I wanted to so I draw another square and this time the width is 129 and the height is 183 except of course I've got to put decimal points in because those are the figures in millimeters so divide them by 10 to get the figures in centimeters and I can then draw well, actually drawing the next one could be quite tricky. So I can use something else here. I can use a contour tool. And a contour will draw a line a distance away from another line, which is this third one in. So draw a line a certain distance away from another line. So I want to draw it 1.4 centimeters away from that line, so I want it on this side. So I can just come put the fingertip just on this side of that line and there we go, so there's my second line. And if I measure, if I put my measuring tool on just to check, and I take, good luck, I go to step lock, and I put it right down in that corner, I measure from there to there. That comes up as being 13 centimeters. That one comes up as being 12.9. So that one's slightly too big. I've gone wrong somewhere and that's 1.4 so that should be 129 by 129 so obviously when I put the figures in I've gone slightly wrong but that's easy enough to solve all I need to do is grab that one on the edge and take it in by one millimeter so I'll just take it in by one millimeter okay delete that check it again so from that line over to there. So I've now got 12, 129, 13, 14, 129. And the height from top to bottom is 183. So if I delete those, one, two, three, four, and now want to use that somewhere else so I'm going to need to export it so file and export and I want a file type that's going to go into other places and the best one to use is DXF so I'll give it a file name DVD template and I'm going to save that onto my desktop and save use the arc command and I've now got a blank DVD template I can use